In this video, we will try to do two kind of problems. Now, one would be uh, finding roots of cubic equation when the difference of between the roots is given to you. And another would be the uh, a biquadratic equation for which the roots are in AP. Okay, so let's start off with the first question. So what do we have? We have a cubic equation. We have a cubic equation and we know that uh, two of the roots are, are, you know, the difference between them is three. So let say alpha, beta, gamma be the three roots. Okay. So what we are given is that alpha minus beta equals to 3 or we can say that alpha equals to beta plus 3. This is a similar kind of problem which we have uh, dealt in the previous video. So also, okay, now for this equation, what is the sum of the sum of the roots? It is, this will be equal to minus half, okay, minus half and uh, minus b by a basically and what will be the product? The product will be a beta gamma which will be equal to 3. The point is that uh, these two conditions are sufficient for us to prove what we want to prove. Now in first, this is my first, this is my second condition. Uh, from first condition, from first condition what do we know? And from the second condition, we know that gamma equals to minus 7 by 2 minus 2 beta. Okay. Gamma equals to minus 7 by 2 minus 2 beta. And now looking at the product, looking at the product, what we have alpha is beta plus 3, beta and into minus 7 by 2 minus 2 beta equals to 3 or we can say that beta beta plus 3 7 by 2 plus 2 beta equals to minus 3 so that will give us 4 beta cube plus 19 beta square plus 21 beta plus 6 equals to 0 and since beta is since beta is the root of the original equation original equation we can put that in the original equation we will get 2 beta cube plus beta square minus 7 beta minus 6 equals to 0 so that will make it that will now now using these two equations 3 and 4 okay making use of these two equations 3 and 4 what we will get let's just add them up add 3 and 4 we will get 6 beta cube plus 20 beta square plus 14 beta equals to 0 so we can now factorize 2 beta can be taken common 3 beta plus 7 beta plus 1 equals to 0 or, or what we can say basically we have just broken broken the quadratic once we take out beta okay so this will give us beta equals to 0 or minus 1 or minus 7 by 3. Now, these betas should actually satisfy the equations, okay? Now, only beta equals to minus 1 will satisfy will satisfy the equation. Will satisfy the equation. The original equation. So 
that is why beta is so beta equals to minus 1 so implies alpha equals to 2 and gamma equals to minus 3 by 2 so these will be our 3 these will be the 3 roots of this equation okay now let's do the other question let's see how to solve when you have something in a b when you have roots in a b and this is a bi equation okay so you have the power four polynomial of degree four so let the roots be let the roots be now if you have roots in a b that means you will have roots uh, uh, which will be which will have a common difference so a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d okay so four roots a bi quadratic you have four roots so basically sum of the roots sum of the roots will be sum of the roots will equal to a minus d plus a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d so that will give us okay, d, d gets cancelled for a plus 2d and this should equal to 8. This should equal to 8 because the equation in our equation your b is minus 8 and a is minus b by a basically a is 1. So this makes it 4 d equals to 4 minus 2 a d equals to 4 minus 2 a and now the second sum for bi quadratic the second sum essentially which is which will be a plus a minus d into a plus d plus a plus 2d plus a a minus d a plus d a plus 2d equals to 14 okay that equals to 14 c by a that is your c by a okay so we have these two conditions in hand okay so this is basically your uh, this is basically your second sum okay now this is my number one this is my Two, what do I get from these two? From one and two, we get two a minus four plus two a, two a plus twelve minus six a plus a a minus four plus two a plus a plus four minus two a into a plus 8 minus 4a equals to 14. Okay, just start substituting for b. And this will give us a square minus 4a plus 3 equals to 0. When, it, when things cancel out, when things cancel out, this will be uh, what will remain. And this is a quadratic and a can be 1 or 3. Okay. Now, a equals to 1, we get d equals to 2. So, the roots will be, the roots will be 1 minus 2, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 4, 1. So, minus 1, 1, 3, 5. Okay. So, these will be the roots.